Greetings, everyone. This is The Truth Will Rise, and uh, back with uh, another quick news segment. Um, and this was an article I saw, and it was actually sent to me as well. And some of you may have heard about it, but I thought I would, would go ahead and put it out here because I have a feeling that uh, this is not something that we'll see discussed, uh, at least, because I don't watch a lot of television. Um, discuss that much in mainstream and I guess all perhaps maybe even alternative or uh, some of some of uh, the other newscasts out there. Now <laughs> I really don't know where to start with this, uh, but so I just jump right in. Um, Republic, you know what? It really doesn't matter. But whatever, he's a Republican anyway. Uh, State Rep. John Hubbard of Arkansas. Uh, has apparently, he wrote a book, the book was called, uh, Letters to the Editor, Confessions of a Frustrated Conservative, <laughs> and in this letter, as he puts it, he explains the, the bright side of slavery, and I'm going to read a couple excerpts here, um, here we go, here's the first one, the institution of slavery that the black race has long believed to be an abomination upon its people may have actually been a blessing in disguise. The blacks who could endure the, those conditions and circumstances would someday be rewarded with citizenship in the greatest nation ever established upon the face of the earth. Wow. Who knew? Wow. Uh, thank you for summing up the carrot at the end of the 400-year stick of oppression that our ancestors went through. Who knew? It, all worth it, in, indeed. Um, now, he goes on to say, uh, another expert, one of the stated, this is about school integration, let me back up. One of the stated purposes of school integration was to bring black students up to a level close to that of white students. But, to the great disappointment of everyone, the results of this theory worked exactly in reverse of its intended purpose. And instead of black students rising to the educational levels previously attained by white students, the white students dropped to the level of black students. To make matters worse, the lack of discipline and ambition of black students soon became shared by the white classmates, and our educational system has been in a steady decline ever since. Hmm. Well, it's nice to know that if you are of Caucasian descent and little Johnny's having trouble in, in social studies. Well, it's not him. It's because of desegregation in schools. Isn't that uh, ironic? And uh, here we go. Here's what, <laughs> what he talked about uh, the uh, inaction of American Christians is the same of Germans who allowed... Uh, the Nazis and Hitler to take control of the country. American Christians are assuming a similar stance as did the citizens of Germany during Hitler's rise to power. Wow! Um, you know what, when I saw this article, I, I was going to let it go. You know, I figured it probably might not make that big of a, a splash, but uh, you know, when I had to put this out here, and then I figured I needed to get my take on this, uh, taking out the obvious, wow, I don't even know where to start, the obvious racial, it's not even undertones, he's slapping in the face with it, um, and that whole, that, I forget the exact terminology, but you know, that whole thing, see it was worth it, you know, you're, you're free today, which is, anyway, I'm not going to go into that, because that's a 30 minute video, um, you know what, the fact is, I, you know, I how this guy still has a job uh, and how he's, he's representing people is, is totally beyond me. I, I, you know, and not even this is something that, that, you know, he said, you know, out loud at a, at a party or, or in a speech or whatever. He wrote this down in a book, which means there were editors and other people who may have looked at this and didn't see anything wrong with it. And, and this book was allowed to go to publish, publication, excuse me. 
And you know, I wonder if you had said said derogatory things about any other group, would uh, that book, the book probably would have been pulled off the shelves. But you know, it's okay to talk about uh, black people. That's 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 perfectly okay. You know what? Um, stuff like this really doesn't surprise me anymore. You know, um, I know some people will use this as a political football and say, hey, you know, see, it's the Republicans and yada, yada, yada. Um, you know, the Democrat thing, I'll tell you, do your research on the Democratic Party. Um, uh, brothers and sisters, they're not your friends either. Um, it just goes to show that when people say, uh, you know, racism is still around, unfortunately. Um, you know, whether you, you think it's a, it's a program or not, there's people out there who are very vigorously still running that program and the fact that they're in positions where their decisions are based upon that and can affect others is a major, major problem. Um, and quite honestly, of course, this, this person does probably not need to be uh, in a position that he's in. But my, my <laughs> question extends beyond that. One, uh, how do you know the person that you would bring in is better and then we have to look at the institutional controls or lack thereof or what was going on in the family institution or whatever programs that are being run on a society level that would one give birth uh, to a gentleman such as Mr. Hubbard and, and, and then that would allow these views to just be put out there for public consumption as if they're okay.